Hey guys, Happy New Year! I'm happy to enter the 2024 with you. Thank you for supporting me so far. As a language vlogger, I know that the new year is the moment to review your past year and set new goals, like learning more languages. We often feel motivated around the new year and quite determined that this is the year that we will commit to ourselves and turn our life around. Most people set new year goals, like I'm gonna exercise more, lose 10kg, learn a new language, read more books, sleep early, I will do this and do that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see how many of the goals you set in 2023 have been achieved. The sad truth is that most people fail to follow through with these goals, and the statistics show it. 12% of all gym memberships happen in January. 8.4% happen throughout the rest of the year. Gyms typically lose about 50% of all new members within the first six months. We are enthusiastic at the start of the year, but we often get distracted with work, chores, life, then lose interest with time. Let me share with you my experience. In January 2023, I set several goals for myself, like gaining 5kg of muscle, finishing my PhD thesis, growing my YouTube channel to 500k, bringing Fusha Arabic and German to academic level, and doing meditation every day. To be honest, I've achieved a ton of them, such as growing the channel to 500k. I even opened two new channels, one on Bilibili gained 260k followers, and another is my YouTube Chinese channel, which has around 80k. Another goal was to gain muscles. My body shape has obviously changed last year. It was a year of hard work, and I'm very proud of it. But I didn't do meditation every day, and I didn't bring Fusai Arabic and German to the academic level as I planned. I have to admit that I felt I made progress in all of them, but not as I expected. One of the reasons is the unforeseen full-time job at the university that was assigned to me in April. It has consumed most of my time and energy. When I analyze why I could achieve some goals and why I have failed some others, for the failure part, it's mainly due to unrealistic expectations. We are setting goals that are too ambitious or unrealistic. Meditation, for example, I did more than before, but every day was way more ambitious than I could handle. And I often forgot due to some other things I had to do. So for this year, I will try to be reasonable. Setting the goal like doing at least three sessions per week sounds more realistic. For the language learning part, I had ambition and I set these goals based on my former experiences. But but I'm no longer in that situation where I can study languages for 5 hours per day. I decided to invest most of my energy in other things in my life. I have to reassess my goals. Actually, trying to pursue too many goals at very high level at once can spread your focus too thin and make it difficult to make meaningful progress on one goal. This is the lesson that I have learned from last year. Then the goals that I have achieved. I noticed that the common factor is that the first, they were specific and measurable. Vague goals like a lose weight or get feed or growth the channel are hard to achieve than specific measurable ones. Without clear targets, it's difficult to track progress. So 500k was the aim. At first, I broke it down on how I can achieve it. How can I improve the quality of my videos? How many videos do I need to publish every month? And how I could better organize the content? Then I set the quarterly and monthly plan at the beginning of the year and review it with my editor every month to do some modifications. I even specified how much time I have to invest every week to make the content. So basically, everything was clear at the beginning, so it went smoothly. Last year, I finished the how to learn collection with seven languages I speak. I'm very happy about it. I also have tried out some new content such as the language history collection and some productivity content. Another goal I've achieved is gaining muscles. I've been exercising for years, but I can say 2023 is the year that changed my body. I used to be very thin and it was very difficult to gain muscle. I exercised regularly to keep fit, but last year, when I went back to China, all my family and friends were surprised with my body change. 
change, the key was a specific plan, exercise, and diet. After setting the main goal, I also broke it down into quarterly goals, like gaining one to two kg muscle in three months. Then based on it, I set a monthly plan. Then I did a full split exercise plan for every week, then specified it every workout session. I was tracking my progress in lifting weights and calculating how many calories and proteins I have to eat every day. Everything is measurable. I often stick to a training plan for a month. If I don't feel progress, I will do some modifications for the next month's plan. By the way, not tracking progress is also one reason why people fail at achieving their goals. Without tracking progress, it's hard to know if you are making headway towards your goals. Regularly monitoring your progress allows you make adjustments as needed and stay motivated. The problem with some people when making plans is that they don't actually make plans. They make decisions and they call it plans without any actual planning of how to implement it into a daily routine and follow through. According to many surveys, a lack of time is often cited as the main reason people fail to achieve their goals. I think it's more about a lack of good time management. I mentioned a problem earlier, we want too many things at the same time, setting too many ambition goals without considering our limited time and energy. So it's important to recognize the priority of each period and learn how to categorize our tasks. After figuring out exactly what goals you want to accomplish for long term, use a weekly schedule that is broken into 1 to 30 minutes blocks of time. Include in that schedule all the things you need to do during the day, not just the main tasks. Include wake up time, meal times, exercise, study plan, etc. Test your schedule for the week. Try to identify the areas of deviation. Figure out why it happened. Was it lack of time, distraction, mixed priorities? or procrastination. Based on the result, create a modified schedule, set daily goals, make sure they are achievable. You can use a daily block schedule for that or just use a to-do list. It's also important to realize that there are some matters you may not be able to accomplish due to a constantly changing environment and out of control circumstances. And be honest with assessing yourself. If this topic interests you, I plan to make a more detailed video about time management. I will share the methods I use to effectively prioritize and manage our tasks, aligning them with our goals to make the most of our time. Please let me know in the comments if you are interested in learning more about this. I would like to know your thoughts and reflection on this topic. If you have achieved your new year goals, share with us your experience. If you have failed them, maybe tell us what you've learned from them. I hope this video can set you on straight path since we are at the beginning of the 2024. Best of luck to everyone and Happy New Year! Bye guys!